guys, I hope you're all well. So today I'm on my iPad and we're in Design Space and we're going to look at how you can get glyphs into your Design Space app. So I'm using Samantha font today. Now if you don't know how to install fonts on your iPad, we have got a previous tutorial on this and it takes you through the app any font. Now any font is £1.99 but it's well worth the investment. It's a great tool to be able to bring fonts into your Design Space app on your iPad or your iPhone. So in order to get the glyphs in Design Space on your iPad, you are going to need an app. So we're just going to go to the App Store. So we're in the App Store. Now I use the app Unicode Character Viewer, which is this blue one at the top, but there are free ones. This one is 99 pence. Again, it's well worth it. But as I say, there are free ones. And in your search bar, you can either put Unicode Character Viewer or Unicode Character Map, and it will come up with several apps that you can use. So we're going to open up the Unicode Character Viewer, and we're going to go to Browse Fonts, and we're going to click on the S. We're then just going to scroll up and find Samantha. We're going to click on that. And you can then see we've got all our different characters. Now there's capitals and then there's lowercase as well. So we're just going to find a nice L that we want to use. Let's go with this one. So we're just going to click on it. And then at the top of your screen, you'll see a green box with an arrow facing upwards. So you're going to click on that and you're then going to go to copy. We can then open up Design Space. So we're in Design Space. Now it's not just as simple as copying and pasting. And this method is the same for all installed apps. So if you want to get the glyphs, if you just get your text box and you then click on the text and you paste it, you'll see it doesn't come up with what we want at all. So we're just going to delete that. So the trick to doing this is if you go to your text box and let's just close that down, we're going to go to all and let's just choose a design space font. So we're going to choose sans serif today. And again, we're going to paste. You'll see it's still not coming up correctly. However, you're then just going to click anywhere on the screen and you can then click on your letter. We're then going to go to edit down at the bottom and you can see there we've got font name. We're then going to click on that and this time we're going to click on system fonts and we're going to search for Samantha. When we then click on Samantha, we've then got the correct glyph. And that's how we're going to do it from this point onwards. So next we want an E. So we're going to go back to our character viewer. We're going to go to browse fonts. We're going to go to S. We're going to find Samantha. We're going to scroll until we find the E we want to use. I'm then just going to choose this one. So I'm going to get my green box with the arrow, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to copy. We then come back into design space, so we're going to get a text box and this time we're going to go straight to a different font. So again we're just going to use sans serif, we're going to paste, you're going to click anywhere on the, the canvas, we're then going to click the letter you're going to come down to edit, you're going to change the font name and you're going to go to system and then you can search for Samantha and it will then give us the correct glyph. So this time we're going to do it with a different font, so this time we're going to do it with Alana which again is a downloaded font so we're going to click on that and we're just going to type in love. We're going to go back to our character viewer. 
We're going to go to browse fonts. We're going to this time click on A. We're going to scroll up until we find Alana. We're then going to choose the character that we want. We're going to click on our green square with the arrow and we're just going to copy. We're going to come back into design space. We're going to go to text. We're just going to again choose a Cricut font. Let's just choose, I don't know, all mixed up. We're going to paste. We're then going to click on the letter. We're going to go to edit. We're going to click on the font name. We go to system and we can then see Alana there. And as soon as we click on that, it will come up with our chosen character. Again, we're going to go back into our character map. We're going to go to browse fonts. We're going to click A again. We are then going to find Alana. We're then going to choose the E that we want. And again, we're then going to use our green box to copy. Back in design space, we're going to get a text box. Again, we're just going to choose a Cricut font. Let's just choose Art Deco. We're going to paste. We're going to go to edit. We're going to click on the font name. We're going to go to system. You can see Alana there. So as soon as we click on that, it then brings us up our glyph. And that's how you get glyphs into Design Space on your iPad. And you can do that with any of your downloaded fonts.